Okay, so I uploaded a, my prior video that I had just uploaded is an audio video, and I was going to explain that a little bit, um, you know, just to kind of, I really need to <laughs> catch more stuff <clears throat> with my phone when I'm doing those audio videos, because, you know, there was a few things you didn't see, um, like the person who was kind of doing his thing, greeting me, well, not greeting me, but like, on my way out the door, he's over on the edge of the sidewalk, over by the end of the store, doing his thing, the gestures, the, the clothing, um, together. And, if you, you know, it had happened a little bit um, yesterday. Anyway, so there was that. And then when I was doing the video, when I actually got to the video, because um, I wasn't doing the video at that point, some guy in the car was giving me, was, I mentioned it in the video, but I didn't turn around. I should turn around and got it. But anyways, so whatever. So I want to explain that a little bit. Um, you know, older people acting like they're two years old, you know, <clears throat> doing grade school games. Because, you know, this is very, really, it feels like, you know, childish stuff sometimes. But it's irritating, you know. <sighs> And then, like, the gaslighting, you know, you mention it, or you kind of let someone know, you know, what's up, and, and they act like, oh, well, you know, they're part of it, you know. You know how it is. And, um, so yeah, that was kind of what caused me to do the video. I just had a moment. How things have been going lately, there's been other, there's been things that have been going on, and some of it obvious, some of it, like, I won't really count, because it's not 100% sure, you know, because you know how it works. Um, but, like, obvious stuff. Like, the other day, they were really going full force. They did the mobbing thing. And one of the people just happened to, that I believe was doing, I didn't look up, but they were the only person in the area, and they were doing the whistling thing during this mobbing time where they were doing the audio whistling mobbing. So that means multiple people, different people doing it within a short amount of time, which gets it in your head. Um, so anyways, and they just happened to, you know, bring up, because uh, I didn't look up, I was ignoring it, someone walks by me, laughs, could be laughing at someone else, but then they start talking to the person, you know, that person that was laughing starts talk. they walk by me, starts talking to the person that's doing the whistling, I'm ignoring, and I guess they're head of the regional stores or whatever, so it goes all the way up, it's a company thing, it's, it's a spiritual thing, I guess. Well, it is, because everything has a spirit, spiritual side. And I want to get into that aspect more of it a little bit. But yeah, and then there was, like, this other thing with, uh, I know on here I had mentioned um, in one of my videos that during, I was crossing some streets that I usually cross, and one day it was a nothing but red cars, like, crossing at the time, you know, and it was no, no other car in between, like, that had to really be planned, that was just weird, I guess it could have been, like, some weird phenomenon, it was just weird, and then, like, sometimes, like, if you catch a person in the car, like, they'll give you a look, and sometimes, you know, I used to think, well, you know, it's because the way I dress, I would dress a little differently, or I'm colorful, it happens when I'm not being colorful and when I'm just more plain. So that doesn't really have anything to do with it so much. I mean, it might at some times, but not all the time. But anyways, yeah, so after that video, um, a few days later, you know, this was uh, like about a week ago or so, I don't know. So anyways, I'm walking at my usual, I'm going my usual way, and there's a car, a red car, with the face, if you've ever seen old planes from um, the old <laughs> old war planes where they had drawn the face on, I think was that Vietnam era? Correct me if I'm wrong. But it was a face that was drawn on the nose of a plane um, to incite fear, it was psychological warfare. And interestingly enough, get it? Psych warfare. Uh, you know, a red car, boyfriend's really into to war planes. I mean, I'm not stupid, but anyways. So that was kind of interesting. 
I mean, maybe it was coincidental. Like I'm saying, maybe this stuff is coincidental, but we know the deal. Anyone who's going through this, we know the deal. Come on. And then um, I watch Enoch 777. He's really good. He puts out a lot of good stuff. And we talk about when you're getting, you know, when you're in a peaceful place, when you're in a meditative place, or when you're trying to get stuff out. A lot of things start happening. I know yesterday I was really in a meditative place when I was going on the um, the, the little local train thing. And I'm at the station. And I'm just like really in the zone, just really peaced out, meditating kind of, like in a way, active meditation. But I was just standing there, close my eyes. Just, and lo and behold, on the speaker, just some random, bop, we dab a doop 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 goes on. Like, seriously, like some weird shit. Like, no meaning to it at all. Just loud and just like, ah, ah, do 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 do. You know, like someone's playing around on the speaker. Like, you know, obviously they weren't supposed to do that. I don't know. And my boyfriend noticed uh, the other day uh, an increase in cops, I guess, on his way to get me. And then, like, the last two days, like when I got off work, across the street in the, in the uh, parking lot, with the coffee shop that's, like, closed at that, t at that point. There's a, the same cop van is there. Might not have anything to do with me, but it's just weird, you know. Not going after anyone. I'm pretty sure that place closes. Maybe I need to see when the place closes or whatever, because that's kind of weird. But anyway, just things like that. You know, and just the other... They have a million other examples that I've... That I've gone through that, that I'm not gonna... I'm not really gonna get, go into detail. You know, I don't really see the need to. It's just so disrespectful in the workplace. Like I mentioned in the video, like, I have to deal with these people on the daily. Like, I have to interact with them, and I help them out. You know what really pisses me off? Is I've been always more than friendly to a lot of these people. And I help them out, and I, you know, I'm always... I'm one of the people that always helps them find stuff, and always really helpful, and really nice. And then they do this to me. They do these psychological attacks. And it's just really, really, just disgusting behavior. I mean, to do that sort of thing. And I know it's good to ignore these people. At the same time, I was like, sometimes, like, you know, you correct them. And then you go back to just, like, whatever. Not letting it get to you. But it's just like, dude, this one dude, he's like, some of these people are way older. Like, why are you doing this? How old are you? It's so juvenile, and, and it's juvenile and evil at the same time with the intention. It's just really, it's just really bad. Like, these people have it coming. And like I mentioned in the <coughs> audio video, I've seen karma come around. I mean, we had one guy, he broke his collarbone, and he didn't learn, I guess. And then you have another guy who, oh yeah... He was really, like, visually, like, it's interesting, because he was, like, visually disgusting, like, he would do gross things, sexually, like, implications, and he actually had some weird things happen with his sight, like, for a long time he had to cover an eye, because he had double vision for a long time, and it was making him go crazy. Hmm, guess it comes around now, doesn't it? And then, one guy who was uh, involved in directed conversation, he supposedly, he told, he, he bit his tongue and couldn't speak for five days. So, I mean, keep it up. You know, I haven't done anything to anyone. Keep it up, and this is the sort of thing that happens, and these people don't learn, because they still try to do their bullshit, and it's like, I'm the wrong person, because obviously the universe has some kind of, some kind of um, balance there, now doesn't it? Anyways, and there's a lot of things I want to cover, too. <sighs> but I just, again I, again, I don't want to dwell on this. Of course, they're not going to let it go. And I, you have to get this out. If you're going through this, you have to expose it. Um, and you have to, like, share some ways to, to get through it. And, of course, we all have our days where it's harder than others. Yesterday was kind of like... <sighs> You know, I mean, come on. Hey, seriously. I'm there doing my job. I'm not doing anything. And here these people are, like... And it's so dark. 
because some of these some of these people cause people to snap and do horrible things and these people aren't aware of like there's something majorly wrong with these people psychologically I don't know what's wrong with well it's just I don't know like I would not do that to someone <sighs> anyways I don't know but it's there are other things too that have happened in the in the karmic wheel here coming around that I've seen happen and I can only guess that as long as it goes on the more karma is gonna come to these people they need to realize that they just need to leave us alone you know anyways I'm gonna think I don't know how much more I have for this video I just want to explain a little bit of what that other video was and I'll have more uh, more in the future again I'm still going through what I'm doing um, you know, doing what I need to do for me. Um, and I suggest you all do that for you. Focus on other things. I mean, yeah, expose this and then talk about it. Don't dwell on it too much. But you do need to, like, talk to other people who are going through this. Um, even if it, that's just online. It's very important. People need to know that they're not alone. Because that's when people kind of, they snap. They don't know what's going on. Luckily, we know what's going on. It's gaining traction. <sighs> yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say for this one. Um, I'll have more coming in videos. Videos to come. Because um, there's always something. I always forget something, too. But anyways, yeah, just just stay strong. And just stay in your peace. Um, yeah, until next time.